Alright, so I'm still in the market, uh, local market, Lamai Beach, Koh Samui, Thailand. Just going to show you one of my um, stalls that I shop from a lot because it's all about buying natural, whole, and pure, local as much as you can, organic whenever possible. And I know that this woman here sells a lot of things from her local garden. So I just showed you the tamarind that comes in a bag down, down the, the market a bit. This is what it looks like when you buy it loose. Okay, so this is fresh and it's green. Okay, so it still has to um, become ripe. But um, just to show you the difference, she's got a lot of different seeds. To be honest, half of this stuff, I don't even know what it's for. And I'm still learning every day I live in Thailand, trying to figure out. They eat everything here, and they eat the whole food. So they eat the seeds of things. They eat the flowers of things. They eat the greens. They eat the roots. That's what it's all about, because each different part of the plant has a different healing effect on our body. And that's why the traditional Thai food is so interesting. Okay, here's green mangoes. Awesome green mangoes for a shredded green mango salad. Here she's got little rolls of leaves she sells. This is a, a flower from the banana tree, which you can also um, use and eat. We've got one of those for sale today. You never know what she's going to have because it's always coming from her garden. She's got a lot of um, wild greens as well. So we were just looking at her gotakula. This is her gotakula grown in her garden. Morning Glory. So this is normally where I buy my Morning Glory every day. And we talked before about looking for the best greens to buy and talked about pesticides and foods and, and how do you know when it's organic and what do you do. Well, I told you before, you look for the bug holes. Remember? Because if the bug survived, I'll probably survive too, right? So this most likely did not have any pesticides on it. These leaves are full of bug holes. That's a good thing. Okay, so I buy from her. This cost me five baht. That's like what, uh, I don't know, 15 cents, 20 cents. This is great for juicing. This is what I use in a lot of my green smoothies. Um, and I get that for every day. Fresh lemongrass, great for tea. By the way, when you cut lemongrass, you always cut it on an angle. That's the traditional Thai style because you open up more of the flavor of the lemongrass when you cut it that way. And then we've got her green papayas. These come from her garden. They're small. I know automatically just from the size that it's grown in her garden because if you go to the Tesco, all the green papaya are the same size. They look like factory papayas. Um, so I try to buy from her. And believe me, the taste from her green papayas is much, much, much better. And then we have the kaffir lime leaves. So they use this in a lot of Thai curries. Um, when you open up the leaves, when you break them, that's when the flavor comes out. And you really smell that kaffir lime flavor. And this is a really interesting one. Who would ever think that you could eat this? This is another local tree here, and they just pick it, and they, they cook it, and they eat it. This is the amazing thing about Thailand, and if you're interested in raw foods, or natural foods, or learning more about edible foods, believe me, Thailand is the place to come. Come to us in Koh Samui, we'll teach you more about it. Thanks.